everyone, welcome back. I've just gotten back from vacation from Ottawa over the Christmas holidays and I'm in that stage right now between Christmas and New Year's where I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what day it is. My entire diet in the last few days has been chocolate and alcohol and I'm just very confused overall. You will be seeing this on New Year's Day though, so Happy New Year's and I hope that 2019 is good to you. This is gonna be my haul for the month of December, so let's dig right in, starting off with makeup remover. I bought four bottles of the Marcel Gentle makeup remover for sensitive eyes because it is the best makeup remover on the planet and Marcel was having a really good deal where you could buy one bottle. I, it wasn't one bottle specifically of the remover. It was like buy one item on their website and you can get the duplicate version of it for free. So I picked up one bottle and got another free one and they also had free shipping at the same time. However, the slightly annoying thing was that you could only get one free item per order. So I put these two in one order and then I had to put these two in another order. It felt really silly putting in multiple orders and for them to have to pay extra shipping for me to get that free item, but that's the way the deal worked out on their website and I wanted all the makeup remover, clearly. This is really the best stuff on the market. I have talked about it ad nauseum for many years now on YouTube and on my blog and even before that time, I've been using this remover for like, I think 15 years, something like that. It is the best. All right, now that we've got the boring makeup remover out of the way, let's talk about some actual makeup products that I bought throughout the month. Now, I need to mention that December is a very weird month as a makeup lover. I feel like all the holiday launches occur during September and October, and that's when I'm snatching them all up. So when December rolls around, I'm usually bored because nothing is actually being launched anymore as the brands sort of slow down for the new year, and I'm burnt out. So I don't feel like I picked up a ton throughout December just because there really wasn't anything to be excited about. And if there was, I was just like bone tired of all the launches. So the only things that actually intrigued me were two palettes by ColourPop and one is definitely not new. So ColourPop was doing a deal where there was free shipping internationally with no limitations. And that made me excited because I hadn't put in a ColourPop order in, geez, it could be four or five years just because I felt like the launches that I had tried back then hadn't actually excited me that much. I don't love their super shock shadows. I find them really annoying to work with because I just don't like using my fingers to apply my makeup. And I hated their ultra matte liquid lipsticks because I just find them way too bone dry. So I kind of stepped away from ColourPop. But when I saw that free shipping with no limitation, I definitely got interested. And there's so many people that have talked about this Yes Please palette over the years that I wanted to try it out for myself. I think this was like, I don't know, 15 bucks. Like the price on ColourPop is just unreal. They're so, so cheap and with free shipping, it's even better. So the Yes Please palette for anybody who hasn't seen it is cardboard packaging, which I love intensely. And then it's filled with warm orange, reds and yellow shadows. And I have seen so many people put together beautiful eyeshadow combinations with this palette that I wanted to give it a go for myself. I think it came out like, a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. So this is not a new palette by any means, but the colors in here are really, really beautiful. And there's way more mattes in here than there are shimmers, which makes me personally excited. The thing that surprised me about this eyeshadow palette when I first looked at it, you know, physically in my hands was that the pants are actually a lot smaller than I was anticipating. And I'm really happy about that. Each of the pants has 0.85 grams of product. And I've mentioned before that I don't need more value for my money really. I would rather have more eyeshadows overall with less in the actual pan for a better price point. So this really fits kind of all of those requirements because people always point out how, um, is it like the Natasha Denona palettes are great value for money or even the Visart ones are. And I'm just like, I don't care about the value anymore. I don't care if it's only 50 cents per pan when I have to pay like $200 almost for an eyeshadow palette. I'd rather have something a little bit smaller overall at a lower price point. So this makes me really happy. So the other palette that I got from ColourPop is a little bit more recent and it was part of their holiday collection. So this is the Chasing Rainbows Pressed Powder Palette and it's got a sleeve on it which is um, a little bit reflective with clouds on it. But the underside packaging is pretty as well. So the Chasing Rainbows palette is beautiful. I mean, I'm drawn in by rainbows no matter what. So when I saw this, I kind of put off buying it because I was like, I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. And then they came out with this free international shipping and I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna get it now. 
and the color combination here is just so freaking pretty there's shimmers there's mattes and there's mattes in shades that i would want to use as mattes i've mentioned this before but if there's a palette that doesn't have enough deeper mattes in it i'm not that interested in it because i prefer to use deeper matte colorful shadows on the outer corners of my eyes so i'm really happy that the um teal down here is quite dark this purple up here is dark as well this one is oh it's called realness i thought it said redness and i was like you are not red these are quite dark i think this one might be a charcoal black those are the kind of colors that i want to put in the outer corner and they're matte so that makes me really happy the shimmers in here look gorgeous as well and i just i really like how this palette is put together i feel like the color combination is incredibly enticing so much like the yes please palette i haven't dug into this one yet i've just been using a whole bunch of other products throughout december um, that i felt were like seasonally appropriate and honestly this one screams spring to me but i'm really hoping that i like the color popped pressed shadow formula because they put out a ton of palettes every single year and the price point is incredible i think this one was maybe 19 dollars. it was not that expensive there's 15 shadows in this one and these actually have one gram of product each which is amazing like the fact that this is only 19 dollars and people rave about the quality of color pop shadows I'm really hoping I like them because I too want to be able to pick up, you know, cheaper eyeshadow palettes that have a great variety of color. So the next few items are actually from my brother and I got them as a Christmas present on Christmas Day. Now this is really surprising to me because my brother picked up makeup for me, which can be really touch and go when a guy is trying to pick up makeup for you, especially when they don't necessarily know what you have in your collection. But he went to Kiko, which you can't really get in Canada that easily. So that was a pretty good start. I'm gonna show you what's in the package in a second. But what makes the story really interesting to me is that when my brother went to Kiko, he was talking to a woman there who was helping him out to purchase products. And she was showing him stuff in the holiday collection and kind of steering him towards neutral products. And my brother kept saying to the woman, no, colorful makeup, like bright, colors which kind of surprises me because i wasn't really aware that my brother knew i wore colorful makeup because he lives in the netherlands i don't think he's lived in north america in like 10 years i see him only every few years so i was surprised that he knew that i wore that colorful makeup but i find it so interesting that he kept telling the woman at Kiko, no, colorful makeup, more colorful makeup. And I could just see the gears sort of working in her brain being like, oh sure, that boy thinks that that woman wears colorful makeup, but she definitely wears neutrals. But I love that he was fighting her on it because he was like, no, 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 stop giving me neutrals. My sister does wear color. So I thought that was hilarious to me. Um, but anyway, let me show you what's in this bag. So I think that this was kind of like a gimme if you bought stuff with the holiday collection from Kiko because it's like this velvet bag which is actually quite lovely and there's a ton of product in here. When I opened the package the first thing that I pulled out was this Kiko sparkling holiday liquid highlighter which when I saw highlighter I was like okay you did a good job. This is the Golden Memories Liquid Highlighter, and it comes in this really long tube with a dropper style applicator. It's funny, it's called Golden Memories, but it's definitely more of like a champagne pearl color. Um, it's more subtle than I thought it was going to be. I put it on the back of my hand, so I think I would use this more as like a under foundation sort of primer but like with a luminescent sheen to it it's really pretty but definitely more subtle than i was expecting and then the next thing he got me was a sparkling holiday eyeshadow palette and the shade is party time so the woman definitely managed to steer him towards getting one neutral thing which when i opened this i was like dang that is neutral so the party time quad has uh four shadows in it three of which are mattes which honestly those are quite a good tone for me for making like um a deep crease outer corner area and then this sort of like I want to say brown but there's a lot of warmth to it so it's a little bit more on the orange side of things this shimmery color looks like it's going to be beautiful on the lid and I'm pretty sure that's how they intended this palette to be used I don't think I've actually ever used Kiko's eyeshadow products before I feel like I've only really used the pencils and I don't really know why that is because I'm not really huge on wearing eyeliner pencil. So I'll be curious to try out the eyeshadows in here. And it still, it makes me laugh because clearly my brother was like, no, give me color. And she was like, no, take a neutral eyeshadow palette. 
but he did win out on a colorful eyeshadow for me. This is called the Sparkling Holiday Metallic Eyeshadow and the shade is All of Blue. Not like olive blue, but like all of the blue. So this color is unreal. This blue is like nothing I've ever seen before in my life. And I'm gonna have to lean close and show it to you because you need to see just how gorgeous that color is. I was so stunned when I opened this packaging and saw this color because again, we don't have Kiko in Canada. I don't really see it advertised anywhere. I only ever see it on European YouTubers on their channels. And when I opened this, I was just like, yes, this is good. This is a good color. So I was really pleased about this eyeshadow. There was also a little pouch in the bag as well that I think was one of those, like if you spend a minimum amount, um, you probably get a gift with purchase. Just because it seems like that, I don't know that for sure. I'm just kind of guessing. But inside there's a Hydra Pro Eyes Moisturizing Contour Serum. There's a Pure Clean Wipes Waterproof Makeup Remover and the Hydra Pro Glow Sublime Light Effect Moisturizing Cream with SPF 10 in it. That was just a little extra gimme in this bag, which I think is kind of neat because it's kind of stuff that I'd bring with me on vacation um, because I really do like mini sizes, but I hate buying them because I feel like it's such a waste of money because the bang for your buck is just like non-existent with travel size products. So I'm more than happy to get them. So honestly, the Kiko products would have been more than enough for my brother because we don't really exchange gifts that often because again, I, I don't really see him that frequently, but he also grabbed some other stuff as well. This is the Glowing Skin Sheet Mask with Egg White by Sugu Beauty. I don't know a lot about sheet masks, but I do think it's really adorable packaging. And then he grabbed me some stuff from Essence. Um, these are two long lasting eye pencils and one of them is two two turquoise supposed to be turquoise and the other one is purple rain I haven't tried them yet um, I do have good experiences with um, essences pencils though so I'm eager to try these he did get me a bunch of mascaras as well in a liquid liner but I ended up passing those on to my mom because I've used those mascaras particularly from essence and I know I don't personally love them I do have a few from essence that are my absolute favorites but those ones were not um, and then the liquid liner it was not in a kind of style that I like so gave them to my mom and she'll be happy with them Maybe it sounds a little bit funny to be handing off some of my Christmas presents to my mom, but I have a ton of makeup in my collection and if they're products I already know that I've tried or I know is not necessarily in line with what I like to use, I just pass them on because it makes more sense for somebody else to use them who is more eager about them. So yeah, I was super surprised with my brother. Again, we don't really exchange presents that often and when he got me all this, I literally thought my mom had picked this stuff up from Kiko and I was like, when the heck were you in Italy? Or when were you overseas? And then she was like, no, your brother got it for you. And I was like, oh, like complete shock on my end. All right, that's it for my December haul. This is everything that I have purchased or been gifted throughout the month. Just to reiterate, I never put PR products in this kind of video. This is only stuff that I've bought with my own money or that my friends and family have gifted to me. Thanks for joining me today and I'll catch you next time. Bye.